a quick little video about an easy mistake to avoid um, that I see a lot. I've made this mistake myself. Uh, I've lived in and worked around a bunch of homes that have the same situation. And uh, it's it's one of these like, it's it's it costs no more to not make this mistake. You don't have to spend a dollar more. Can everyone see what it is? Well, there's one big one that can be a total nightmare. And then there's just a smaller efficiency mistake. And maybe some plumbers, I'm sure, will find some other plumbers always disagree about exactly how it should be done. But um, I'm not talking about anything that's per se um, a, a against code necessarily, although there may be some of that depending where you live here in this frame. But just something that can avoid major problems. So everyone see where the water is coming into the building? Right there. One inch poly line comes in. Conduit. Looks like three inch conduit. Comes up to a brass 90. The, the um, hose, the hose uh, clamps are done correctly. That's great. And it goes to another 90 and then over to the pressure tank. Okay, so the, the the least important piece here is pressure tank. You might as well use the biggest pressure tank you can. Because when the power goes out, you'll have more water until you have no pressure. This is in a conventional home. But much more important is if and when you have problems with this line, you have approximately three inches to deal with it until you're totally screwed and you can't you can't work in there so run this line up up here give yourself at least two three four feet then connect it and you can always deal with it and have some bits of it to cut down if needed and what i recommend to my clients this is good that there's conduit running in and in Vermont, it's typical that people just literally put this in and pour the concrete around it. Use high PSI one inch pipe from your well and run a second one in or run conduit in and have room, run an empty piece of conduit in so you could send a whole nother one to the well, like run the conduit all the way to the well. The conduit's very expensive. Now I just run a whole nother piece of one inch into the building because if and when you need it, which is more like when than if, bringing it through under frost into the building through concrete is a nightmare versus just another 50 to a hundred dollars, $150, maybe $200 if your wells are really far from your house of having a backup. And so then just run that up, cap it, label it, bring that up to the well and then up against the well that's best and then you could all you have to do is dig down to the pit list in the well and reconnect that it's already buried in the same trench as this maybe one of them goes in conduit although conduit is very expensive now both could just be bedded in sand one in use one for your backup just a few thoughts there to save you thousands of dollars and maybe a ridiculous amount of stress and headache and time and also time without uh, time where you don't have no water in your house where you actually have water because you can use your backup stuff shifts in the ground 